passport, Greenwich and testing systems with June and Robin Lovelock in Sunning Hill. Well, off Sunning Hill. The, what follows is a photo trail of our lovely trip to London yesterday. Uh, but first of all, standard stuff. Robin's Corner here, warning signs about Air Cat, where trackers have been tested, GPS trackers that is, since uh, the late 1980s. There's a couple there, the spot tracker in a box and a goat hop tracker. But uh, a lot of this material people would have seen earlier. Um, coming down our front drive, yes, warning sign about cats. One of our guard cats is Toady, and I know he's in his little hidey hole because there's a light on there, but uh, that's important. Right. Hello, Toady, you're catching up a bit, a bit of sleep. Yeah? Okay. He yeah, has a hard day, or rather a hard night. Um, yes, at the end of this uh, video, there's stuff that was shot uh, earlier uh, because students and Matt were off playing tennis. Uh, we come in here, here's Snoopy's robot boat, and we're testing various bits that have got to be replaced, including the spot tracker. You'll see more of that in a moment. And uh, that camper was used for taking Snoopy down to the coast last year and the battle damage. June said Robin did it, Robin said the wall did it, but the wall is okay. And again I'm obliged to give safety warnings, uh, signs everywhere, ca cameras, but it's not just cameras, there are also water squirters so you have to read the small print. That's it, I've done the health and safety stuff. So we can go into the house and what we have on the screen at the moment is from one of the spot trackers. Now this is a little thing that size. Uh, yes, American stuff, uh, whereas a lot of the stuff we use might be from all sorts of places. And what we have on the screen here is where the tracker is, one of these things, well, no, it's not. That's a different one. <laughs> no, that one is a little spot tracker, uh, SATCOMS. And the interesting thing to me is that the image here, uh, because it's based on a military system, may be why the imagery is uh, slightly up to date, uh, because they have had the courts resurfaced. And in fact, the shadows here, you can actually see that they're playing doubles games, if I've got that right. But of course, they may have fuzzed stuff out so that you couldn't see who the individuals are. I don't know. Um, right. Uh, the important thing is that the photo trail that follows is basically just a list of the photos that we took on a lovely visit to London. Now, the reason for the visit was to pick up my passport, which had expired after 10 years. We need it for the holiday in Sicily. Um, but then we decided to take a trip on the way back to Greenwich, which we hadn't been before, and it was fantastic. And a lot of the stuff at Greenwich is really important to a lot of people, <laughs> even though you wouldn't realize it, um, not least GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. But anyhow, rather than me talk, waffle on, we go into the uh, photo trail and then a lot of other stuff will be at the end again. So into that long photo trail. 370 photos in 13.5 minutes. This was our lovely trip up to London. The main purpose was to get a passport which had run out we needed that for our holidays. But of course most of it is about learning how to navigate the system. And sometimes you have to resort to technology. But I did manage to get it. And then we thought, where should we go next? Yes, Greenwich. We knew there were lots of interesting places there. We, we'd never visited it. So we did. So much of the photo trail is a lovely walk around there to the places. And of course stop for refreshments place that there's certainly worth several more visits and of course it's where GMT was invented and that is very important for lots of things 
not least military operations <laughs> and anything that involves important timing. That's it, we got back safely and there we are on the map and able to look at the foxes so having peanuts. So that's it, so now into the mainstream. So first thing I noticed was a hornet in the house. So I took a picture of that and then there we are waiting at Sunningdale station for the train. Yes, the systems say when it's going to arrive. So we're on the train, go past some interesting places like Long Cross Station, which is where the tank factory was, on the edge of Chobham Common. And then Virginia Water, Egham, Feltham, yes, lots of things at Feltham. Richmond, <laughs> nice posters on the way. And that looks as though that's Clapham Junction, which is where my dad was born. So we're very close to Waterloo now. Yeah, there we are arriving at Waterloo. So now, yes, the procedure for automatically paying for the journey and the same sort of thing in and out of the tube system. Nice new statue there. So we're probably finding, yes, so we're going into the tube system now. Now that was quite a major challenge because some of the new tube network has got one name for it and even though there are several lines but that's what made the trip interesting finding out weaknesses in labelling and exploiting technology when we had to. So all a question of knowing which platforms to go to or even what way to a particular platform. So there we managed to hop on the train for one of the legs and so where are we now? Probably getting close. Yes, we are getting close, but she had to resort to her smartphone because the route to it was blocked. And uh, so, yeah, we found it. And in fact, we arrived early. Yes, lots of closed circuit TV and lots of security inside as well, which is what you'd expect. But because we arrived early, the lovely guy uh, suggested we uh, come back later at the right time. And so there we go, having a nice refreshment at what was probably once a pub. And got the passport okay. So mission accomplished, exhibition place. So we decide perhaps we'll visit Greenwich. There it is on June's smartphone. And we've never actually been to Greenwich before. Uh, at least no, I don't remember. And we know there's lots of interesting places there. And it certainly was well worth it. And it was worth several visits. So we're now navigating our way through the right network of lines <laughs> to actually find our way to Greenwich. Yeah, lots of buildings still going on. And of course, there we go, that's on the smartphone, going past the Isle of Dogs, and the Cutty Sark, we're getting close to it, there is a tube station for that, and I think we're getting close now, yes, there's a glimpse of it, I picked up a big issue on the way from the chat there. Right, so that was the first place we saw. We didn't go inside, but it was well worth when I walked around and look at it. And it's not just the, the ship, but it's all the interesting spots nearby. Had a refreshment there, I think. Took a few photos of River Thames and other places. So, 
Where are we going next? Oh yes. Visitor centre. Yeah, some famous guys. At the shop. As I said to the lovely guy on duty, thank God they don't sell shoes there. And an ice cream cornet. And we decide, yes, we're going to go into Greenwich Park to the really interesting spots in there. And, but we go past the university, Greenwich University. And I wasn't even aware of the lovely building. There's a bus. It's a lovely historic buildings and some very interesting artefacts. Ah, now that was must have been the visitor centre, but they had lots of interesting things in there. Just wasn't enough time to, to see everything. A <laughs> ship in a bottle. <laughs> Rings bells with the bottle tracking projects. Yeah, and then we're going across the park, making our way to the Royal Observatory, which I remember was up on the hill. Had a lovely walk, and I must have been we <laughs> pain. So we go through there, and that's what you call a telescope. Unlike mining. So just a few of the things, and of course time is very important here. And there's the Greenwich Meridian, the Prime Meridian, because of course accurate timekeeping meant they, it was all based on knowing your longitude accurately, which is very important to navigation. And of course it's very important for lots of other things in the modern world. So these are the camera obscura. <laughs> First camera, I think it was like a pinhole thing. Loads of guys. Let's say just a fraction of the stuff that was there. Clocks, very important. Of course, accurate clocks meant that if clocks were synchronised, and we talked about a long time ago, <laughs> they could say by the timing of something, like the direction of uh, some, uh, something in the sky, for example, where they would be. You know, the sun sets at a particular time. That's just one example. There's, well, there's far better examples. Oh, yes, we stop for a snack. and continued our walk. I think we're making our way back now. Yeah, so we decided... Oh, we're trying to make our way home, I think, now. If I haven't completely lost track. And I must admit, it was really va valuable just asking guys Oh, which way is it to the place to get to Waterloo? There we are at Waterloo. So he's going through a procedure there. Yeah, there's a lovely Windrush statue. And the electronic signs. So very easily we were able to get on the right train. Then ring Samantha to say yes. Yeah, so I had a call as well. And... Uh, Samantha was going to pick us up. We used the taxi to get there, but Samantha picked us up going back. So we are going over the Thames. Lovely graffiti past Feltham. Lots of things at Feltham. Thames again. Yes, moo cows in the field. Yes, so over to Samantha. And Mum gets in the back. That sits in the front, and we're off home. Back into Armitage Court, and home, and Bentley from opposite, the guard cat, who's been training for the last year or two, our cat. Hello, Bentley. Yes, he's checking things out, including the robot boat. And then I guess I come in and start checking out uh, air track according to the trackers 
uh, well, there's only one, it was my pendant trapper, and also June had uh, one she was carrying as well. So that shows where we visited, and that was the Greenwich Park walk around. Yeah, that was at Cuddy Sark, that was the observatory, I think. Yeah. And yes, that was uh, Felton. <laughs> it's changed prison and uh, got other things now. It was that it was young offenders, and then uh, I think for asylum seekers. A bit sad, really. But so that was probably June's tracker. Yeah, same sort of information, including there and back home. Yeah, there we go. Tracking is caring. I like that slogan. So it looks like we're rustling up a pizza or something. So that's most of that. Oh, Tony, the cat, decides something to eat and look out the window. Grab up right in the porch. So what am I doing? Oh, yes, updating the COVID page because it's a Tuesday. Looked okay in terms of the graph of deaths versus average deaths and tried out the cameras so I'm afraid my Samsung camera doesn't do very good telephoto stuff maybe I've got the settings wrong but then of course seeing the wildlife coming for the peanuts including the fox oh it's getting late yeah watch the news yeah checking out the two cameras so I thought I might try and get a better picture which I could have done with the old Sony camera, which is unreliable at the moment. Good if I've got it fixed. And June's pointing out, we're in the next day now. The <laughs> details, yeah. And that's the tracker that is in her car. And graphs there. They all link together. And... Yeah, that's the spot tracker that's going to go in the boat. And that was working as it should do. So I think that's it. The If there are a few more photographs here before the ending, it'll be um, just a flavour of the fact that I discovered very early in my career that people were a very important part of the system as well as the procedures they followed and that applies to any system uh, so that's it I think I warned you it would be a long photo trail I'm going to show you a clip when they got back pointing out that there was more detailed mapping there and then we're rolling into that video that was done earlier about the DPLA. So let's roll into that. Well, apparently they were out there and I did I missed them. So uh, so how did the tennis go? Yes, it was a draw. Yes. It was a draw. Oh, that good? <laughs> yeah, something you might want to see on the screen, which is the tennis courts. When did they get surfaced? Hello, I'm Robin Lovelock in Sunning Hill and yes this is Robin's Corner where we tested GPS from the light, late 1980s onward and uh, that's the bit of garden sculpture that June gave me for my birthday present and June and Samantha are just off to tennis at the Royal Ascot Tennis Club and it looks like they're going to use June's car there we go. Give them a good thrash in June. There we go, that's the Reg Kiss GPS. GPSS.co.uk. Yes, promoting the website, which was a business many decades ago. So they're off to tennis. And since it's in shot, that's where a cat often hangs out along with armed mice with light so we can see and I'm going to open the garage door
Have a good game. Oh yes, that's a guard cat. Toady. Hello, Toady. That's my car. And I'm not being able to allowed to drive it um, again uh, due to uh, the DVLA, the Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency, for those of you outside the UK. And uh, I just point this out, C4 GPS and the website gpss.co.uk and these days rather than business it's all about charity and believe it or not the few words I say are a lot to do with hopefully helping people within the DVLA as well as outside um, so yes this is Snoopy's robot boat and these things link together uh, tried the Atlantic lots of exposure on that and I'm going to run straight into a recent clip where I speak in detail the key thing is the DVLA driver vehicle licensing agency collects a lot of money for the UK government and of course they use a lot of money for what they have to do which is issue driving licenses and also for licensing of cars and vehicles so let's run into that back in 2012 it's already been tested over 5,000 miles on the lake in Berkshire. The model will be steered and tracked through a satellite system and by Snoopy, of course, and it should make the crossing in six months, if it survives, that is. The most important thing of the lot, of course, is Snoopy the Viking, the skipper. I don't think he'd make it otherwise. We've also got another bit and piece here. This is a GPS logger that logs the position every 15 minutes. For that was back in 2012. Um, the guy that put this material together, including live broadcast and what went up on the BBC website, is Ben Moore. Right, on to the next topic. Right. Now, I'm going to do this all in one take. Um, all re unrehearsed and unscripted, so sorry about that. Uh, what I'd like to happen, if anybody picks up on the uh, DVLA story, is, as I say, nobody getting into trouble, and that is a, that's a genuine request, but when they, they find flaws in procedures where they don't cover certain things, be good if those are fixed. What I think would be useful uh, for anybody looking at the DVLA and then perhaps helping them, is first of all their organization chart show, showing the structure yes it's well known who the head of the DLA remarkable woman looking at her CV um, and relevant to this story is uh, the head of the health part but it would be very useful to see even if names aren't attached obviously the names can be attached where they're public already is how many people in each branch, how many people are reporting to how many. Uh, so a simple tree would help. I suggest that first of all. Then perhaps even more important is how many people working for the DVLA, even if you don't identify the individuals, are salaried by the DVLA <coughs> excuse me, directly as opposed to contracted through an agency or a business. That is very important, and we've seen what's been happening in places like the NHS for years. Um, so that comes into the equation in terms of whether money is well spent, and of course the TVLA collects a lot of money. Um, and there are probably other things as well. But as a starting point, I'd hope anybody that responds to this uh, I can't afford to get over lady. We've got other things to do, many other things to do. Uh, and we'll be taking a holiday. That would be public, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm tracked everywhere by different things. 
and in fact if anybody's paranoid about it uh, anybody who's tracking somebody or looking at somebody's probably seen <laughs> already um, but at the end of the day uh, there's me wittering on which is one of my main weakness since I was a little little child that's why if you put things up clearly be careful what you put up and uh, often it can do some good I'm now in the kitchen and June's rustling up some food in the microwave for Samantha. The microwave was invented by James Lovelock, if you didn't know. And here's Samantha. And of course there's tennis on the television, just for a change. So, oh, yes, point out, holidays in sit. We're going off to Sicily again soon. And into the hall. Yes, nice expensive paintings here. Yep, expensive little pocket camera. <laughs> Not expensive. And through into the lounge. And out to wrap up this video by saying look after yourselves stay safe and enjoy what days we have